Pat Archibald. I'm a textile artist, teacher and writer. Through a series of videos, I'm going to show you different ways of working with metallic foils and how to apply them to fabric. And in this video, I'm going to introduce you to working with a fusible called Bondaware and its method of applying the metallic foils to the surface of your fabric. So I'm going to show you how to gild fabric to give you a lovely shiny metallic finish like this heart here. And this is embossed onto cotton fabric and once the gilding embossing has been done you can then stitch, quilt, embellish to your heart's content. The first method of foiling that I'm going to demonstrate to you is using a simple heart shape that I've got here and working with Bonda Web. Now Bonda Web is a fusible, it's normally used to adhere two pieces of fabric together but in this case I'm going to use it as a method of applying foil to my cotton fabric here. So take your template that I've drawn out there Take a sheet of Bonda Web, pop it on top, take a pencil or a marker pen, position your Bonda Web nicely and just trace off your design onto your Bonda Web. Now I've got the Bonda Web with the rough side down and the smooth side up so that I can easily draw onto it. Take your scissors cut out the shape, I've got one cut out previously, and place it onto your fabric. I'll just place that centrally there. I'm making sure that the smooth side of the Bonda web is up and the rough side is down onto the right side of my fabric. Take a sheet of baking parchment, silicon paper, or if you have a Teflon sheet, that does the job as well. In this case I'm going to stick with my baking parchment. Place that on top and have your iron heating up at the side here. Now it's cotton fabric that I'm working on, so I've got the iron set appropriately for cotton. Apply the iron and just put a bit of body weight behind that and make sure that you keep the iron moving over your Bonda web shape there and over the fabric. I've got a nice hard surface under here which makes the job go just that little bit better. I think that should be plenty. Put the iron to one side, lift off the baking parchment and just lift this up. You can see that that is well adhered but I'm just going to give it a little cool down there to speed things up. And when it's cool enough, I'm going to peel the paper backing off the fabric. And you can probably see now that the glue that was on the paper has now transferred onto the fabric. That looks perfect. I'm now going to take a sheet of foil to work with. And I'm going to... There are a variety of different colours that you can get. And the main colours that I work with are silver, bronze, copper and gold. I'm going to take the gold today. I'm going to place that directly over my Bonda web shape there. But first of all, I want to make sure that you know which is the right and the wrong side of the foils. We're always going to work with the metallic side facing up. That's the other side of the foil and that will always be facing down, no matter what technique you're doing. So place it with the metallic side up, centrally, onto your motif there. Bring the baking parchment back, place that on top. And again, with the iron set appropriately at the cotton setting, I'm going to iron this. I'm going to keep the iron moving for a slow count of five. This is a vented iron that I'm working with and I don't want any of those vents to be apparent on my foil design. So, one, two, three, four, five. Remove the baking parchment. Now there's a little clue here to me 
that the foiling is going to work beautifully. I can see an indentation of my heart shape there. I'm going to lift the fabric up and I'm just going to cool it down again for a few seconds. We've activated the Bondo Web, we've melted the Bondo Web again and we've got to allow the Bondo Web to set and pull the foil down onto the fabric. Now that should be cool enough. Place it back onto your work surface, lift a corner of the foil, peel it off and you have got a wonderful foiled design there. That's the old sheet of foil with the golden heart removed there and now on your fabric. But don't throw away your old sheets of foil because I'm going to show you some ways of working with these so that they're not wasted. Now I've demonstrated to you how easy it is to do the foiling with Bondo Web to give you a lovely gilded finish to your work. Now this sample here is based on one of my kits that are available from my website and you can see the gilding that I've demonstrated in the saddle, the elephant's cap and the ele elephant's tusks here. Very easy to achieve this superb finish on your work. So I hope you've enjoyed that little video, a little insight into how to apply the metallic foils with Bondo Web. And I also hope that that's inspired you to think of other ways that you can employ these techniques in your work to make them totally unique and personal to you. Look out for more videos that will introduce you to other applications of foils in your work.